What is up guys, Vincent here, and today I am going to be diagnosing and hopefully resolving the issue that I had after I replaced the uh, LCD on my iPhone 7. And apparently Apple decided to make things a lot more difficult uh, in this whole process. Nowadays, when you replace the screen, the issue is that you need the original home button um, from your iPhone to go into the new iPhone or the new screen. Um, so if you bought an LCD assembly like I did off eBay that included the home button, you cannot use the non-original, even if it's a genuine Apple home button on the same iPhone. It needs to be the original home button that shipped with the original phone. Even if your glass is cracked, you need to transfer this home button. And so um, this is a thing that I just learned the hard way. And um, what I'm gonna do here is show you how to fix this, hopefully. And so what we're gonna first be doing is powering off our phone. I've already tried restarting this a bunch of times. I keep getting the same error message, so this isn't gonna help anybody. Uh, so we just need to power off this phone, take out these two screws, Gently lift up on the screen and pull it back slightly and then tilt it up like this. You need to pull the screen back because there are little plastic hooks on the underside of this thing. If you can see those right there. If you don't, if you just try to tilt it up like this, this will happen to you, which is what happened to me when I was taking this phone off. So um, to keep your glass intact, you need to first pull so lift up slightly and then pull the phone down to get these hooks to clear the aluminum frame and then rotate it up slightly and take out the ribbon cables that are uh, underneath the screen on this side of the phone. So um, do that and then we're going to be transferring our original home button to this iPhone to hopefully resolve this issue. Taking off iPhone 7 screens is definitely easier said than done and this is taking me about 10 minutes and uh, to be very careful and very patient and very delicate with all this stuff. I found that using a suction cup at the bottom here, lifting up and then prying very carefully was the best way for me to sneak in a guitar pick. And now I have a little plastic spudger thing to help me pry up on this. And so we're very carefully going to be working our way um, around the sides here. Do not just lift this screen up because if you do you will tear out all these ribbon cables and you're going to be SOL. So very carefully lift up the screen. After we've lifted it up we will pull it back down slightly to get the little hooks right here on the underside of the screen to be released and then we can slowly rotate this screen out like this to unfold it like a book. But yeah this is definitely a pretty challenging repair relative to <laughs> The other iPhones that I used to use or work on back in the day, like the iPhone 5 that I'm using to record this right now. So um, I'm just going to keep chugging along here and hopefully we don't break this screen. And so we just got off the metal cover right here. The only two cables that I'm going to be taking off on this screen are these two right here. This one is for the battery. Um, and so uh, I also do not need to, because I'm not completely taking out this screen, going to be taking off this display connector. So just popping these two cables here will let me completely rotate this screen flat. And then I'm going to transfer over the old home button to the new iPhone screen. Okay, what I am learning along the way as I take this thing apart is why people are so uh, ready to give the complete LCD assemblies uh, for sale on eBay is because Taking out this home button on this screen is a huge pain in the ass. You've got six tri-wing screws right here. And it, the only purpose of this is to lift up the little metal cover here. And then there's also these ribbon cables here. So you have to separate the metal cover from this. And then once you've separated this completely, um, now you can get enough give in order to uh, separate and remove the actual home button on this. So I'm gonna, this was the broken screen. I'm gonna get the original home button here and then transfer it onto the new screen um, and take out the uh, home button from that one. So these home buttons are pretty much worthless uh, after you've um, 
take them out because it's very specific to that iPhone that it originally comes from. So uh, this is a big learning experience for me and I hope it's a learning experience for you as well as to all the little nasty things that are going on under the hood in your phones these days. Um, I do suppose maybe there are security reasons that you can claim as to why Apple is doing this, but uh, for me right now, I am mostly just irritated that it is this challenging to do something that should be pretty straightforward, which is just changing a screen. Uh, anyway, so we're going to keep chugging away. I finally got this little metal cover thing off, so now I'm going to remove this home button and transfer it to the new screen uh, without... Uh, damaging it so hopefully you know when I started this video I made a little joke about how I was gonna use the included tools that came with the uh, really cheap battery that I bought for my iPhone and uh, well it turns out that the little bit on it uh, stripped out and it really screwed me when I was trying to get out um, these screws in here and for some reason the light is on on my camera right now because it's now nighttime <laughs> And that's because I need to go run out and buy a very special uh, tool piece that is actually uh, a lot better at fixing these things. And this is a Y000 or a Y0.6 millimeter sized wrench or uh, screwdriver. And so getting this thing took me all day, which was great. Um, but now what I can finally do is continue, continue removing the uh, four screws here on the bottom and uh, get this home button out and then put in the original home button which I already was able to get out before uh, this cheap uh, Y screwdriver broke so almost there hopefully I'm gonna be able to turn this phone back on and have a phone for uh, work tomorrow so <laughs> we will see <laughs> All right, guys, so I just finished putting back the iPhone. Um, I was able to take out the original home button for this iPhone, or it's linked to this iPhone's motherboard, I believe, and get it into the uh, screen. So um, the other genuine Apple screen that I got, I had to take out the old home button, put that one in, I was able to get it in. The biggest thing that held me up was this tool, this is a Y000 or Y0.6 millimeter uh, bit, and uh, it's very rare. You're not going to find it at your local hardware store. You have to buy this on, in a specialty toolkit on Amazon. Um, so after I got this, it is now nighttime because I've been uh, doing other stuff today, but um, this is a really nice tool that saved my life. I was able to get out the rest of the screws because um, the cheap y bit thing that came with this uh the bit stripped so i had to go with this other part and um now this whole phone's back together and uh what i did notice is that even after you put in your original home button so touch id will work um but you do need to still go to touch id and passcode i'm not going to show you my passcode but um you will need to add the fingerprints so even though uh, this thing works, it still won't recognize your, any fingerprints after you've replaced your screen. You will need to re-enter those fingerprints going through the process that you go into with Touch ID and Passcode. So uh, definitely many morals of the story here. The biggest one is to have the right tools and good tools before you do a job. Um, in this case, I am using um, this thing I got on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks for this toolkit. Came with a bunch of other stuff that I don't really need, but um, this is a nice screwdriver and it helps me finish the job. Uh, this is another huge learning lesson for me in terms of how much more complicated Apple has made servicing iPhones in recent years. Your home button needs to be the original home button. If you break your original home button, I don't know what you're supposed to do because you basically can never use Touch ID again and that for me is a huge feature that I use all the time. So um, yeah, definitely kind of sucks on that with Apple. Uh, but. I learned my lesson here. You have to take out the original home button. You will find tons of displays on eBay where people sell the complete thing. I thought I was getting a really good deal because it came with the home button, but that's not the case. Uh, you will need to take out that home button. Even if this is a genuine Apple screen, which this was, uh, you will need to salvage the original Apple home button in order to get your phone to work the way it did before. And so um, this is very difficult. And uh, yeah. 
I hope that <laughs> people don't read all my text messages, but <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I hope this helps people and take care.